Hi, this is Jessica Mays, Infusionsoft Certified Consultant, and today I'm going to show you how to set up lead scoring in Infusionsoft. So lead scoring is also known as uh, the flames that you see when you um, sometimes are in Infusionsoft app or perhaps are in your own Infusionsoft application. Um, let's start out by going, logging in, landing on the dashboard, and to configure this, we need to go into CRM settings. You'll see over on the left side, it says scores. So it doesn't say lead scores, doesn't say flames, it says scores. And this is where you go to configure lead scoring in your application. Now, I already have some examples set up, but I will walk you through what this is all about. So what you do to determine when a flame is added to somebody's contact record is you come up with rules. And so you can pick either um, tagging. Tagging can cause a flame to go on a, a record or also an activity. So I typically uh, configure my rules using tags. So in this uh, first example, if the contacts tag contains, and that'll show up in a second, you can do contains or doesn't contain, and I'm going to grab the tag called free level. People get the tag free level if they opt into the free level of my uh, online resource called the Map Club. So if somebody opts in for the free level of the Map Club, that tag goes on their record, and then I want one point meaning one flame, to show up uh, on their contact record. Furthermore, I'm going to walk you through these. I've configured four more rules. Um, these aren't in the greatest of order. Let's actually drop down to the third one. If somebody requests the Lifecycle Marketing eBook that I have available in a blog post, if they have opted in for that, a tag goes on their record indicating they requested that eBook. And so if that tag goes on their record, I want another point, i.e. flame, to go on their contact record. Now I'm going to bump up to the second one because now it makes sense. I also have a tag that if um, when I'm seeking feedback about that book, I ask people if they like the book or if they just think it's so-so or if they haven't read it yet. If they indicate that they like it, I do have a tag go on the record and then I have another flame go on the record. And the last one I'll jump down to is um, when people request blog updates via email. That also is a tag. That's how I, I um, am able to send the blogs out via email is um, it works off of a tag and this is the tag. So if somebody has said, yes, I want to receive your blog updates via email, I'm also having a flag flame go on the contact record. Now I have five of them configured here. Um, I'm really only going to just talk about those four. This this fifth one is, is, is great too. Um, but um, really, if I had four flames on a contact record, you really can only have up to five. Um, that would be, um, to me, a hot lead. If um, somebody has the tag on their record, potential Infusionsoft consulting client, that means they've uh, filled out the form indicating that they would like to speak to me about uh, potential consulting. So certainly that would uh, be very important too and I would have a flame go on for that. So um, four to five flames to me is a very hot lead because they've indicated they um, would like access to the Map Club. They've um, opted in for the Lifecycle Marketing eBook. They like the Lifecycle Marketing eBook. They've requested blog updates via email and um, they've possibly filled out the uh, the form indicating that they want to chat about working together. So that is how I have con uh, configured flames in my um, my lead scoring in, in my application. And you can do the same. So you could go into your tags, which would be the fastest way to see your tags is to go into, again, CRM settings, but this time click on tags. And decide which ones you're putting on the contact records, um, which tags really indicate um, people are, are really interested in potentially working with you. And that might be what you want to consider as making rules for lead scoring. The other thing you can do, it doesn't have to be tags, the other way you can set up rules is through an activity. So I'll just show you what that looks like, and then we'll wrap up.
So I chose tags for all of my rules, but I could also choose activity. And then I can say contains or doesn't contain. And the choices are an email unsubscribe, a web form submission, an email open, or a link, uh, a link click. Now, the way that I handle things in my application, if people um, are particularly uh, clicking on links, um, I'm very often putting a tag on that. So um, I can catch it with a tag or with an activity if that's something that's important to me. I think an email open is pretty cool to be able to um, listen for and, and, and um, consider a hot lead if, if a certain email is open that has some pretty juicy information in it. Um, all of this stuff is very important. For whatever reason, my brain just understands the tag ruling rules better than the activity rules. So that's why I lean towards the tags in my own application. But you can set it up however you want. One thing that I'll point out is that this is very similar in concept in terms of um, operating this area, configuring this area is probably a better word, very similar in concept to when you're configuring those decision diamonds over in Campaign Builder. So um, if you are used, if you have gone through that process of setting rules for those little diamonds that pop up, pop up in Campaign Builder, this is the same concept. You would just click, find out what your uh, options are, and choose what you want to go ahead and configure these uh, scores. So that is how we configure lead scoring in Infusionsoft.